Hello, just bringing you back for part two of the uh, inlet rubber upgrade on the carb rebuild. Um, went out this morning looking for a tripod and some other bits and pieces, carb cleaner and stuff. Couldn't find a tripod anywhere and on my way home I thought uh, my daughter did a photography degree. We've got loads and loads and loads of cameras and all sorts of stuff in the house, all the old fashioned film type stuff. There must be a tripod. So anyway, I had a look in our storage shed and <laughs> lo and behold, straight in front of me, there's a tripod. So what I've done is, because <laughs> I didn't have anything to properly hold the camera to attach to a tripod, I've uh, took the bolt out of this <clears throat> and uh, I've used a double-sided tape to stick it to my phone case and hopefully hopefully that's going to hold it I might have to wind it up with gaffer tape or something but at some point during the proceedings today I know that's going to let go the phone's going to hit the floor it's going to smash and everything but you know you don't know unless you try so I'll be back and start setting up for this job uh, well luckily there's a little magnetic flap on the phone case which so that it stays shut so what I've done as well as the double-sided tape is I've actually taped that around to there so if the double-sided does want to go it'll hold it up so and then the phone sits in there a bit makeshift but uh, it'll do at least I've got a tripod and uh, so I'm gonna stick this in there now and see how we do. Okay, uh, well, I've set up the tripod, but I don't know if it's. Well, you can see half of what I'm doing. I'm going to elongate these holes. Uh, so I'm going to center punch these, stick a three and a half mil drill bit through the hole, uh, drill through, and then stick a six and a half mil through it, and then I'll probably have to get the Dremel. Or some files and elongate the holes. Not sure if this one's going to do it. If not, I'll have to get the big drill out. And I've wasted a pen in there to push the air box down about 20 mil. So I hopefully don't drill through it. Okay, <laughs> just broke the drill bit in there, so I'll have to reset. Right, I've drilled them out to six and a half mil, and now I'm gonna get, probably get my Dremel and try and make that into a slot. I should have used my big mains power drill, but I got through with the battery one. Um, I've got a rag over the inlet. Uh, I should actually put that over the carbs as well. Um, So far, I'm not liking tripod cam. I can't get it where I want, but we'll, uh, I'll do my best. So I'm just uh, elongating the slots, getting them sorted out with the Dremel. Uh, gonna take a while, so might do some of this off camera. <laughs>
Anyway, you get the idea. I'm gonna tidy these up and then I'll give you a close up of what I've done and then I'll put a bit of, put a bit of paint on them. All right, there's my slots. They don't look very factory, but I'm gonna put some black satin paint on there, clean them up. And when I put the air filter back on later and the bolts are in, I'll probably put some bigger washers on them to hide up my uh, my bodgery, but none of it's gonna be seen. But this is why I wasn't that keen to do this mod in the first place, but uh, I thought I'd just dive into it and go for it. All right, a bit of red oxide on them first, just to get a bit of primer around where I'll ground it so it don't don't rust. And I'll uh, <laughs> I've run out of every colour except for black at the moment, so I'll grab some later. That's all right. This can not don't have to do this till maybe even tomorrow when I'm putting it back together. Right. I'll get these off now and uh, put the new ones on. Okay, these are coming off. These are just a uh, 5mm Allen key. One of them. Also, I need to try and remember the orientation because they're in different shapes. Uh, I think, or well, maybe there's just a pair of those and a pair of those. We'll, we'll see. Well, let's get this one off first. Give me access to the middle one. go. I'm going to measure that in a minute. Save the clips for the new ones. I think they go on the other side. I think that's about where they go. I'm just going to double check with the other ones. They seem to all face inwards. These ones have got the vacuums on the top instead of the original ones. You get one out the side, one out the top, you know, all different areas. But I think that's how they're going to go. And I think, think that was 32 mil, the inside diameter. It's 
going to measure the other ones. Twenty twenty six twenty six twenty seven mil to thirty two mil, so um whatever that is. Five mil. Not a lot in it really, but there you go. And these have got little O rings, sealing O rings on them. The new ones came with the new O-rings, which I've already put them in, so that's nice. Right, I'll have a go at fitting these first two. Just put a really, really light smear of grease on that, just to help this, any movement, so it doesn't catch on the, the metal surface. goes That's the outside one that was the inside one talking to myself yeah I'm pretty sure these are supposed to go on like this before the without the carbs in the way and then you've got to struggle to get the carbs in because this doing this with the carbs there is is just it's not impossible but it's a a horrible experience <laughs> so got them in there's no torque setting for it well there might be a torque setting for them but uh, a bit hard to get a torque wrench and stuff in here so I'm basically just nipping them up that feels fine quite painless that actually all right let's get another another new one It. it sort of curves from the outside in like an S. See that? Yeah. Excuse the silence, but I need to get this right. Alright, that's it. I'm going to do the same on the other ones. Then I've got a couple of blanks to put on. And this this one here goes to this one. So I'll stick that back on while I'm in here. While I remember. That one there. I'll just check it, make sure there's no splits or anything in it while I'm doing it. It seems alright. Right, anyway, back in a bit once I've got this on. Right, they're all on. Um, 
I like these new ones because they've got, if you can see that, tiny little dimp uh, notch, dimple, protrusion there, which lines up with that notch there, which means when you've got a real tight access, as you screw, the, as you do this up, it stops it rotating, so they're in the right position. Well, the old ones didn't have that, so that's brilliant. On the back side, the two middle ones have got that. On the sorry, on the on the airbox side, the two middle ones have got a notch, and the two outer ones have got like a, a long indent, so it all sits nicely with the clips. So what I'm going to do quickly is just grab the carbs. And just have a little test run because I've got to strip the carbs and overhaul them anyway. But just just to see how much clearance we've gained, um, grab one of the old ones against there and show you. Um, which way round are we? You can't see that from that angle, but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's about, we've gained about the width of that, that ridge. Just grab the carbs. Uh, right, which way around, which way around, that way around. Here it goes. See what happens. Oh, <laughs> that is just brilliant. Wow. That is going to make life so much easier. Uh, no more fretting about getting the carbs out now. They are absolutely clear. Once they're pushed into these rubbers, this will slides forward. Hopefully I've notched them out enough, the, the bits I've just drilled and dremeled. But oh, that's luxury. Right, that's that side of it done. I'll get some black paint, tidy them up. So your next bit um, is going to be me. I've got to clean the bench and get everything. Um, spotless and start overhauling these. Cheers. Okay, open you can see this. Let me just adjust slightly. Uh, I'm getting really fed up with this tripod business. I'm taking hours to just to set this rubbish up instead of getting on with the job but I know it's important people want to see what's actually happening so I think it's because I haven't got a big YouTube channel it's it's not really about having thousands millions of subs and all that sort of stuff it's just me keeping a record and of what I do and if it helps somebody along the way that's brilliant so but um, I suppose I have to accept the fact that it takes a lot longer. I know people who do decent videos like Moonfleet 41, um, they sp spend virtually every minute of their life doing the editing and the filming and setting it up and a, a 10 minute job can take six hours. So, you know, respect to them anyway. So here goes, I'm gonna see if we can I was in these the other day, so oh, stainless, uh -huh. stainless screws, non-magnetic. Thank you very much, Yamaha, or the last person who went in before me. Also hoping that the radio in the background isn't too loud because I don't want to get any copyright strikes on my biggest video ever. Um, put the radio on to just relax me a bit. I need to be chilled out whilst doing this. That's the float bowl. Mostly really clean inside these. I haven't touched them. Um, that's your... That's your big gasket. That one there, the main gasket. Um, so sit the float bowl. 
put it in the plastic tub. Now, if you can see, but just gonna um, check out the orientation of the of the needle. There's a sort of a springy clip on top of it, springy, and it goes with the two little. There's two little like butterfly-shaped things on the clip, and they go face that way. And this float is held in by this brass-coloured screw, which I obviously put back in very well the other day. Let's get the right sort of screwdriver on it. There she goes. There's a real tight bit of the thread in the middle. So, it's a sort of brass coloured thing. Right, the float. Yeah, don't drop it. That brass screw goes on top of that, like a hinge, yeah, hinge bin. Um, <laughs> I just dropped it already. Well, I'm going to put the float to one side. In the plastic part. Oh, please focus. I'm going to get rid of this fag as well. It's not very really pleasant for you, is it? Okay. That's the float needle. This end is like, this black end is. How do we do this? It's rubber. I think it's rubber. Um, it's something softer than the metal. Actually got a ridge around it, so it has got some wear on it. So that's uh, good news. Well, not good news, but it's good that I'm changing them. Uh, put that one in there. I really should put, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put the old, the old bits. I should have a separate pot for this. Let's put the old bits separately so I don't mix them up. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is a little screw here which takes out the seat, what I call the seat. Is it going to come out? Yes, I just need to remember to use the right screwdriver on it. Okay, tiny little screw. So in theory, this seat should pop out. It's obviously it's got its O-ring around it. Seems to be working quite well, the O-ring. Come on. <clears throat> that, it should just pull out there's a it's just the o-ring holding that in Got something tiny around it good job i'm changing this isn't it because i'm uh, destroying it to get it out Interesting. Let me play. Right, anyway, got that out with a bit of effort. The, um, the seat. 
seat, mauled it a bit, luckily I'm changing it. Uh, now I'm going to just undo the jets. In fact, I'm just taking that one out. That's the, the idle jet. I'm going to give it a blow through with some carb cleaner, some compressed air, stick it back in. And anywhere there's a O-ring, I'll replace that. So I'm going to get on with that off camera. Right, I'll just show you. Right, I'm going to just squirt in carb cleaner down the holes. A uh, little jet air. Got to remember which way around it goes. That one's the same as that one. To just blow through that jet. That's a pilot or whatever. Yeah, that's clear. This one, it's got a little, it's got a little collar on that. That till it seats. This one on the top hasn't got a collar. I took the float bowl off the next one along because I'd already forgotten how they how they went. But um, yeah, this one I think I'm gonna have to check these against the. You can't see that. I'm just blowing blowing through there. Uh, a number on that, which sets 075, this is where I find out I've put them back in the wrong way. I can't see that. That says 52.5 on the inside one. That says 52.5, and this one on top of the emulsion tube, which I suppose is the main jet, says 075 on that. And. Oh, something five. So anyway, that's that one comes off the main jet emulsion tube. Um, I'm just going to blow through the this jet idle jet. I'm guessing that is clean that. You can't see any of this, can you? Right down the hole it lives in. I can see through all these holes and I'm just going to see if I can see through right the way through the, the end. Yeah, that's clear. It's coming right through. Okay, I'm going to pop that in. The idle jet, I do believe. Um, I'm going to take off this emulsion tube. If I can find the right spanner, looks like about an eight. Don't know if I want to use pliers on it. No. Nope. Any 
Yeah, this one's got a, got an O-ring. Haven't seen any O-rings on the other little ones yet. Um, but there you go. That's the main jet. Or, Oh, let's give that a clean out. I'm going to check the, all the holes in the side, see if I can see through it into the light. Right, what I did to clean that out was I put my finger over the end, squirted carb cleaner down there and made sure it squirted out of all the little holes in the side which it did and blew straight through and I've just replaced the replaced the o-ring on it and I'm just gonna squirt down the emulsion tube main jet Rip her back in So yeah, just put it in till it's seated. Now this little one here, I don't seem to see any O. I think there's a space for an O-ring, but it didn't look like an O-ring came off of it. I'm going to check the manual. I think these two are supposed to have them in, but they they didn't appear to have. So I'll just have a look. Right. Um, yeah. So main jet is in emulsion tube. The that's the starter jet. That one. It has a little collar on it. Just look that up in the manual. Pilot jet is back in. Can't see anything about the O-rings. Um, there's a whole bunch of O-rings in here, but so far I've only put an O-ring on the main jet emulsion tube. And I've just replaced the O-ring on the seat for the needle valve. And I'm just gonna put that back in now. That's it, just presses in. Um, right, that's, that's an old O-ring. So I've got one big size O-ring left and a, a smaller one and a smaller one even still. So still no wiser to where they go. It doesn't say in the manual. Um, it does say the pilot screw there's a pilot screw with a spring and it has got an o-ring that one um, and it warns you if you take it out it will change the settings so if I take that one out I'm gonna have to count the amount of turns and all that sort of business but I guess I'm in here I might as well do it all right that's the air air pilot screw um, change the o-ring put it back in I've counted ten and a half turns to get it out so hopefully it'll be the same putting it back in right um, gonna put the, the screw back in to hold the seat down can somehow Hello, let's bring you back for part two of the uh, inlet rubber upgrade on the carb rebuild. Um, went out this morning looking for a tripod and some other bits and pieces, carb cleaner and stuff. Couldn't find a tripod anywhere and on my way home I thought uh, my daughter did a photography degree 
We've got loads and loads and loads of cameras and all sorts of stuff in the house, all the old fashioned film type stuff. There must be a tripod. So anyway, I had a look in our storage shed and <laughs> lo and behold, straight in front of me, there's a tripod. So what I've done is, because <laughs> I didn't have anything to properly hold the camera to attach to a tripod, I've uh, took the bolt out of this <clears throat> and uh, I've used a double-sided tape to stick it to my phone case and hopefully hopefully that's going to hold it I might have to wind it up with gaffer tape or something but at some point during the proceedings today I know that's going to let go the phone's going to hit the floor it's going to smash and everything but you know you don't know unless you try so I'll be back and start setting up for this job uh, well luckily there's a little magnetic flap on the phone case which so that it stays shut so what I've done as well as the double-sided tape is I've actually taped that around to there so if the double-sided does want to go it'll hold it up so and then phone sits in there a bit makeshift but uh, it'll do at least I've got a tripod and uh, so I'm gonna stick this in there now and see how we do. Okay, uh, oh, I've set up the tripod, but I don't know if it's, no, you can see half of what I'm doing. I'm gonna elongate these holes. I did the little grommet on the air adjustment screw. I wish I hadn't, um, but that's probably gonna need fine tuning now, because, uh, I've had the air, two of the air adjustment screws out and to get them exactly uh, get them exactly the right amount of turns in and out, especially with a new O-ring in there, which might be fatter than the old one. I think I've got them back where they were, but no doubt this will all need, uh, probably need carb balancing, um, which will be something I'll take it to Colin for. But I'll get all this done, see how she runs, and I'll probably get him to balance the carbs anyway just as a matter of course. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a look in the manual, see what it says about the float height, see if I'm uh, within spec. Basically that just pivots on that hinge pin and that little needle goes up and down inside that seat and just opens and shuts and lets the fuel pass, so that's it. So I'll have a look at the float height and then I'll put the change the main gasket, put this one back together, and then all of the others is just the same. So I'll just check that I did everything up. All the jets are seated. Which they are. Yeah, all good. Okay, that's it. I've stuck the float bowl back on that one. Um, the air adjustment screws looked in the manual because I've, I've disturbed them anyway. So whatever happens, these are going to have to be tuned. Uh, and the float height, I noticed the float height was a bit different. Um, seemed to be within spec, but it seems to be higher higher, lower, whichever way up than the others. And I think that's because the needles are worn. Maybe that's where my flooding's coming from, who knows. Anyway, that's buttoned up. I've set all of these air adjustment screws to two turns. It's fully wind in and then two turns out. So it's a factory setting. It's a recommending setting from the, from the manual. So that's enough. I think this video is getting really long now. So I'm gonna stick these bits together it up as part two um, and I will go through and change all of these now next video will be me sticking these complete on the bike putting it all back together um, and we'll see if it fires up if it runs and then go from there uh, it may have to go off to Colin for the final carb balance and the float height adjustment and all that sort of stuff but that's fine I've done the bulk of the work we'll see how what happens so I'll see you in a bit just a little add-on on the end. Uh, 
the seat, that's the old seat that came out, what the needle goes in. You can see that. On the end of there is a little mesh gauze, like a filter. Uh, the new seats don't come with a mesh gauze, so you have to put the mesh gauze off of your old seat onto the new one. The first one I put in, I put in without the gauze. That explained why the float height was different, because it made that sit at slightly about a mil difference. So I had to take it apart, put my mesh gauze on and put it all back in together. So more for me for not looking, comparing the new part with the old part. The only difference was it had a little plastic bit with a mesh gauze on. So luckily I noticed when I started doing the second one. So and another little tip. That's the old gasket. When I put the new gasket in, it wouldn't sit in the groove around the bowl. So I've just used a bit of um, grease, multi-purpose grease. It's um, petroleum grease. Just smeared a bit of that around the groove. Put the new O-ring gasket in and it sat in there, it stuck it perfectly. Put a little smear around the top. It just held it in while I put it in place. So that was just uh, handy. Right. Thanks for watching. See you later. See you on part three. Cheers. I've been Springy.